Hey, what's up everyone? This is Shravit Sood and I'm here to create a Photoshop tutorial on a 3D basic 3D text. And this is what we're going to create. I also made another version of this. I know, you know, I made both with different versions. So, let's get started. First of all, go to file and create a new document. I want to choose 1280 by 720. 20 and I'm gonna fill it with black first uh, sometime and create a new layer by going uh, uh, using uh, shortcut control shift N or clicking this little icon or button and I'm gonna choose it I'm not gonna name it um, just hit T for the text tool I'm using uh, alert for now but you can use whatever heck you want to hit A here and I'm gonna change the color to white I'm gonna name it P and S but you can you know you know you can type whatever you want and hit OK now to center this you need to select the canvas and to do that uh, use shortcut control A and uh, use these two buttons now it's concentrated but the size is really small so I'm gonna control T hit control T and size it up a little bit yeah okay now again center it by the way let's see now I don't like the spacing between P and S so select the text tool and hit here and select this and the meet change the metric. Um, it's a little bit more. Just touch minus. Let's say negative ninety. Okay. So um, this is done. So to create this text. Uh, change this text to 3D. You you need to go to 3D and say new 3D from extrusion layer. And yes, I want to change to and see it's it has you no know, change to 3D text, but it's not that appealing. So let's change the material a little, a little bit. Go to material settings. Go to diffuse and select the color whatever you want to. Which you like, but which you please. But I have a specific color with R equals R zero G one forty three and blue two zero two. It's gonna give a nice bluish color and hit OK. And after doing this, we need to you know edit the background because you see. We can't see shadow because all the things are black. So I'm go to FX and change to gradient overlay, and we're gonna reverse it. Take the editor, change the opacity to 30, and change the radio, change it to radio, change the angle to zero, and scale it to 150. And use and let's fill the color. All uh, white by hitting Control Backspace, and it's gonna give this white grayish color. Oh yeah. Now select this. Mm. So what are we going to do is select the selecting this, and if you see this little part here, which is of uh, blue part extended from this arrow just hold your mouse here and it's gonna show you this yellow line and you need to change it to um, I guess 90 90 would be perfect so let's change it to 80 90 uh, uh, uh. Come on, 90.2. I'm not gonna bother it uh, much because it's if it's like 90.1 or 
90.2 it's not gonna really affect this so and yeah change the extrusion depth to like um let's say 100 yeah and the it looks like it's in the error obviously it's in the error so to change it what we're going to do is go here and uh, use this move object to ground plane it's gonna move this and we're gonna we oops control all z sorry for that Wait, work okay it's working a lot okay so we want this like front top of this and to do that we need this so select top from here and just swap is click here swap mean and secondary view you will see that if you go to current view you will see that we have changed the, per, uh, the view from perspective to orthographic so just and see it's uh, it has changed its size but I don't we don't need so big size so go to PS or Texter and see when you see this three arrows just give it you know only like pushing uh, it right here yep that's looking great so I'm gonna change the angle a little bit and selecting the first tool will let you change the angle like this so yeah I'm gonna move the front view here just here just a touch and it's looking great <sighs> but you see the shadows are a bit shitty sorry for using that word but yeah that's true so I'm gonna in delete this infinite light and you will see what the fuck why did you delete it so I'm gonna add a new spotlight and when you drag it here no I'm not gonna bother it much uh, about the lightning right now and open this and you know change the change it it's gonna add some shadows great shadows see it's looking great and yeah this is done S yeah one thing you can do is you know, change the softness of the shadow to whatever you want but I'm not gonna bother it about it because it's just demo and stuff but you know the white isn't appealing to me so I got I want to change to essentials again go to actions and I got some vignettes no. I got some I'm gonna load this vignettes and select the one I ah, please so this is looking great but I'm gonna change the color to bluish like and you know change the opacity yeah so thanks for watching this tutorial guys uh, t uh, I'll show the result of this after this tutorial but seriously thank you for watching this tutorial I'll meet you next time if